Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to share your sound over Zoom in all four major notation programs. Ready to get started? Buckle up. First off, I'm going to start by sharing my screen and for this I'm going to share my desktop. Now if you don't remember to share your sound at this stage, that's not a problem. We can fix that later. So let's start with Finale. In Finale, in order to share your sound, you have to go up to the MIDI audio menu and you're going to go down to device setup and then audio setup. You're gonna click on that right there and you will see this menu like this. You're gonna see a mic source, that sort of stuff. The thing that you want here is output. So right now, this is coming back through my speakers. You're not going to hear this. And so in order to make it work, you need to change to Zoom audio device. Boom. Once you've done that, you can click on test audio output. And what you're gonna hear is that there's nothing there. And again, this goes back to the, well, I didn't share my sound. And as promised, I'm going to show you the way around this. You see how there's this floating window right here? Sometimes it might be minimized, sometimes it's not. But if you drag your mouse over it, it will pop up like this. You're going to go here all the way to the right to the three dots, click on more, and then go down and click on share computer sound. So you're going to click on that one right there. And to make sure that you get the good stuff, you're going to click on it again and change it to stereo high fidelity. Now, if you click test output, there you go. We're getting sound over Zoom. And if I press play over the here, um, it will go through and play. So that's Finale. Let's do the next one. Here is Sibelius. Again, if I try to press play, play in Sibelius, you're not going to hear anything. So how do we fix that? How do we make it such that you can hear the sound coming out of Zoom? Well, in Sibelius, we're actually going to go um, we're going to go over here into the play menu. And so if you click on the play menu, you want to click, I did it really fast, but you want to click on this little tiny little pop out arrow right here under setup. And that will bring up these playback devices. And then you need to click over here on audio engine options. It's buried pretty deep in Sibelius. And so you're going to have this menu right here that pops up and you're going to want to click on the first one interface. You're going to find zoom audio device. You're going to click close. You're going to click close again. And now, if we go back here to Sibelius and press play, you can hear the project that we want to play. Let me show you another trick in Sibelius that's really useful. If, if you know you can't, if you're struggling to find this thing in setup, uh, this thing for the uh, playback devices, you can do go up here to the command search and just do pl find playback devices, and it will pull it right up for you. You can click on that and then you can go through and do the audio engines option stuff, just like I mentioned. So that's Sibelius. Let's go into Dorico. So again, in Dorico, uh, the, we need to change it to the Zoom Audio device. In order to do this in Dorico, we go up here to the edit menu and down to device setup. So we click on device setup and we're going to want to change this ASIO driver. Click down here, Zoom Audio device. Dorico tends to be a little bit slow in loading its devices. Once it's loaded, again, we can press play and continue on with the piece. And you can hear my sound just great. And so that's how you share the sound in Dorico. And last but not least, let's finish off with MuseScore. So in MuseScore, uh, you actually come up, uh, if you're on a Mac, you come up here to Preferences. Uh, if you're on a PC, you're going to go to the equivalent preferences setting over there. So you're going to click here on Preferences. And you're going to come down here to where it says I.O., the little speaker input output. And you're going to come up here where it says Audio Device. And instead of System Default, you want to click on Zoom Audio Device. Do that. Click OK. And then once you press Play, have your thing there. So that's how you do that in all four major notation programs. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, everybody, and I will see you at the next video.